still here, you are still with us. You said I'd find a message. Here is your next point of contact. You just run me halfway across London. If you do not wish to proceed, that is your prerogative. Yeah, all right, go on. Rivers, do you know it? Yeah, I know it. In five minutes. Five minutes is a mile away. Born every day of the week. That's it, mister. I've had enough. I'm inclined to agree. Go to the car and you're right. Have you thought about the Olympics? You'd do well in the 10,000 metres. Get in. The man wants to meet you. What man? Don't ask silly questions. Get in. So, you're ready to go anywhere and do anything, eh? If the money's right. No problem there, my son. No. Just... How far would you go? What do you mean? Well, I mean, would you break a few heads? Yeah. Just try me. Would you kill? Kill. I said, would you kill? Kill who? People. What people? Just people. Nobodies. You wouldn't even know their names. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Well? Extermination. That's what it's about. We kill to order. You're good. You never told me to pull to the right. Come on. Where to? Told you the man wants to meet you. Hmm. Place went bankrupt. Bought it up cheap. Left. Left. Hello, Doc. Got another one for you. What the... Just gonna check you over. Make sure you're fit. Medical. His legs are all right. He can run. Oh, good. Come on. Oh. oh, now, now, now. That's not too good at all, is it? Problem? <laughs> yeah. I think our friend here has got a problem. The medical term for it is lack of bottle. Well, 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 that's not very good, is it? I mean, we're not very fit, are we, something? Right. Come on in. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, Twiggy. Listen, son, 
That's enough! Now stop it! Pay him and take him out. We'll be in touch. Come on. Well? He's not bad. In fact, I think he's pretty good. He's all right. Of course, I could be wrong. You have an evasive quality, Ferris, which I find... Tiresome. Evasive? <laughs> what do you think of the man? I think he's suitable. Fortunately, we do not have to rely on your sense of judgment. In my opinion, he could well be a plant. Follow him. Check him, and if I'm right, you know what to do. Right. I'm leaving now. Give me five minutes. Five minutes. Just do as we're told, right? Yeah, but I mean, who is he? How should I know? He pays us the money. That's all we should worry about. Would you like another drink, sir? Thank you. Tell me, Nigel, could you run MI6 on a permanent basis? As Sir Charles's deputy, I think that question might be better put to him. Minister. Dawson. Tino, sugar. I'd like a meet with Cowley here in one hour. <laughs> what do you make that with seaweed? These cups are mandatory. I thought you said proposed. You must try to master Whitehall jargon. I'll expect your reports and how you plan to implement them within a week. Yes, sir. Cowley? I'll do my best. Now, item two, security. After recent unfortunate events, I think the overall picture is satisfactory. I'm afraid I don't. Really? We never seem to learn. Every few months, some new mole, some double agent, some new scandal is uncovered. The papers are full of it, and then the dust settles. Go on. And then we go back to the same smug, complacent attitude I'm hearing here today. I'm sorry, Minister. I consider the security situation as far from satisfactory. And what do you propose we do about it? Why don't we purge our intelligence services clean once and for all? Recommending a strong purgative for all of us, George? Eh? Don't get clever with me, Dawson. I'm serious. Then I must take you seriously. Yes? It's for you, Cowley. Cowley. Right, I'm on my way. Extraordinary. Didn't even want to drink. Obviously a busy man. So are we all. Frank opinion, Nigel. Off the record. Of what, sir? George Cowley. Well, he's impetuous, headstrong. He's a bit too independent, too powerful. Not accountable enough to the right people. Of course. He's highly thought of. Yes, I understand the PM looks on Carly with favour. He'd make a dangerous enemy. For you, sir. For either of us. If I should cross swords with Carly, for whatever reason. Do you think it would come to that? It might. In such a confrontation, where would you stand, Nigel? You could rely on my discretion and complete support, sir.
tea. No, make that coffee. Uh, I left an important meeting to come here, Doyle. Why couldn't you phone in? I had a tail. You still being followed? No, I think he's given up. I like this coffee. What have you got? Well, they are recruiting assassins for money. Who are the targets? Nobody's the contact said. Why kill people of no importance? Any idea who's behind it? Well, the top man was there, but he kept out of sight. I see. Do we close in? No, not yet. All right, I'll report tomorrow. This is Cowley. Where's Bodie? At the rendezvous, sir. Right. Stay with him. Ask the same question. I don't understand. You were told to come here and wait for a call, right? I was told to make one. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Had a medical recently. Don't worry. They wanted us to meet. Well, when I first got involved, I thought they were recruiting mercenaries from Africa or something. Yeah. Oh, if I'd known then. Yes, but you need the money, right? What's her name? Who? The girl you need the money for. Get lost. Oh, that's gambling with me, you know, can't leave it alone. Did they tell you anything? They told me nothing. They gave me a ticket. They told me where to take him. Ten thousand. What's that? It's the target. It's the lady we paid ten thousand to kill. Go on. Check the glove compartment. We could take the money and run. How far would we get? I can't go through with this. Stay here.
Chartwell, 1953. It was nice of him to sign it for me, don't you think? We've been waiting for you. We? Oui. Yes, Bodie. We. Oui. This is Miss Walsh, Elizabeth Walsh. Miss Walsh. Can I offer you a drink, Mr. Bodie? No, thank you. George. Please. Where's your accomplice? In the car, sir. Well, young man, I don't suppose you'd like to tell me. What's that, Miss Walsh? Just exactly what is going on. It's all right. Elizabeth has security clearance. Among other things, she was under secretary to the cabinet office. It's an interesting job. Yes, it was. Thank you. Well? CI-5 are infiltrating a group. A group recruiting men ready to murder for money. You're one of their targets, Elizabeth. Bodie was sent here to kill you. Your friend in the car will be getting nervous. You better get on with it, Bodie. Ah, a Walther PPK. You know your handguns, Miss Walsh. Fire it into the lawn. I don't want an unsightly hole in the ceiling. Get moving! Is she dead? What are you thinking? It's an uncomfortable feeling, knowing someone wants to kill you. It's also a problem. Problem? Why would anyone want to? That had also crossed my mind. Why don't you tell me? Tell you what? The reason you're still sitting in that chair and not rushing off somewhere, putting the world to rights. <laughs> ah, that's a tough one, Elizabeth. And I think it could get tougher. There are loose ends, things that don't fit, don't add up. I need your help. I'm retired. You're the cleverest woman I know. Then you must move in very limited circles. Will you help? I'll think about it. How was Malta? All right. I heard your man fell over a cliff. Yeah, well, he uh, stood a bit close to the edge, didn't he? You've done well. Cheers. They kill for us, and we kill them. Yeah, it's a hard life. One born every day of the week. Elizabeth. I'm glad you decided to come. You made it sound as if it could be interesting. Yeah, let me take that. Go right through. I see your recent demise made the times. Yes, I found that most encouraging. Do you remember him? Yes. Harris. Retired eight years ago, went to live in Malta. I'm afraid he's dead. Dead? A cliff fall. Accident? Perhaps. But you weren't an accident. You want me to work a puzzle board. <laughs> <laughs> Who could do it better? Yeah. Does that woman have security clearance, sir? Huh? That woman was taking notes from Churchill when you were still wet behind the ears. Give her anything she wants. Come in. Close the door. Well? The uh, woman's dead. What about Nielsen? We paid him off. Where? Dumped him in the river. You find something amusing? No. Sorry, Gov. I am not your Gov. I am the man who pays you to do certain tasks. Right. What about the man I saw yesterday? The one who gave Twig trouble? Yes. I followed him most of the day. You're not even a competent liar. You lost him. Yeah. Sorry. But he's all right. In my opinion, he's OK. You think so? Fortunately, I have more reliable sources of information. He is an infiltrator, a plant. A plant? He can't be. Dispose of him immediately. 
Report here tomorrow. Right. Tomorrow. Where do you tend to meet us? In the pub. You stupid. What's wrong with the pub? I said somewhere quiet. He's a grass bonehead, and you know what happens to grasses. Here we are. Ah, there he is now. Go get him. Oi! Where are you off to? I thought you'd forgotten. How could I forget you? Care for a drive? That's what the instructions said. Good. Here's the other half. Got another job for you. Come on. What sort of a job? Only in one business. When? Right now. Hot right, twig. Bring him down. Who wants this? I'll do it. I'll bet you would. I'll bet it was you who shot the old girl. Let's see you in action, Sam. Me to do it right here. Here and now. Well, what are you waiting for? I wouldn't advise it. Not with a camera above your head. Man's careful. I like that. All right, not here. But you keep the gun and you do it. So bunch, mate. You cut that a bit fine, didn't you? I knew he wouldn't do it. Oh, you knew that for certain, did you? Yeah, he's no hit, man. What the hell's going on? Who are you, anyway? Tell him. You tell him. We're CI-5. Where's your ID? Huh. Well, you don't think we'd be carrying it, do you? We're undercover. Undercover? Who are you? My name's Williams, MI6. Oh, yeah? How are you going to prove that, sunshine? Dawson, I want answers and I want them now. It's all right, Miss Davis. Um, close the door, will you? I assume you have some explanation, Cowley, for charging in here like an enraged bull. Why didn't you tell me about Williams? Williams? Oh, don't try that, little boy. Lost look at me. Oh! Williams. Yes. He's, uh, operating covertly. Undercover, as they say. Why wasn't I informed? And why wasn't I told about Bodie and Doyle? I'm under no obligation to tell you anything. That cuts both ways. We've been weeks on this. Your interference could have jeopardized a very delicate operation. That also cuts both ways. I'm telling you, Dawson. No, I'm telling you. You better leave this office before one of us says something we both regret. You'll hear more of this. We probably both will. I intend to inform the minister. Why doesn't he move that arrogant, puffed-up, conceited... George, should I cover my ears? Oh, I'm sorry. Someone's obviously ruffled your usual icy calm. Yes, yes, he goes by the name of Dawson. Nigel Dawson. I knew him as a gangling youth with acne. He's now acting head of MI6. Ooh, I am out of touch. What have you got? 
two more, I'm afraid. Wade and Maloney. Killed? Within the last three weeks. Why wasn't they picked up? They'd both been retired for years. Why should anyone make the connection? What did they do? Wade was a cipher clerk. Maloney worked in Central Records. It doesn't make sense. They were inactive. Why? Why kill these people? The reason is undoubtedly the key. Work your puzzle board, Elizabeth. I may need more pieces. I'll do what I can. I have to go. CI-5 operates without reference to any other department. You maintain they do, gentlemen. That is the established procedure. Well, show me where it is in regulations. You can't do that. It's always been understood by all concerned. Not by me. Yeah, it's about time you did. Gentlemen, I... please. We are, in theory at least, all on the same side. I've read your reports. You both independently infiltrated the same group. It seems somewhat irrelevant to me who should have informed whom. Nigel? Well, I agree. The main thing is we've still got two men inside. Cowley. All right. But it's a CI-5 investigation, exclusively CI-5. I can't accept that. And I can't work any other way. I see I shall have to make the decision. It's to be a joint project. You'll work together. I mean it. What is all this about? I don't know, but I put a pound each way. Well, I hope she knows what it means. Don't knock it. That lady's got a mind like a steel trap. Bodie, you work with Williams, but you report to me, both of you. Nothing gets back to MI6, is that clear? Right. I want the man behind this, and I want him soon. I think it's risky. You're not paid to think. What's the rush? I mean, are you saying you can't do it? No. No. It's just the time. If you think time is short, you must leave at once and get to work. Right. <laughs> Haven't you forgotten something? Oh, yes. The money. The keys on the floor. Room 206. He said there's been a change of plan. So what happens now then? It's been brought forward. We do the whole thing tomorrow. What? The lot? That's what he wants. We haven't got enough men. Oh, shut up. No, well, what about the backup? Oh, shut up, Twiggy. I'm trying to think. We'll kill them all tomorrow. Shall we take him? No, let him go. You know what's in that bag? A photograph and an address of someone's death warrant. Let me quit. Just the one to go. That's yours, Twig. Take it. Mr. Careful, a nervous friend. What kept you? We're early. I'm kidding. I like you. Both of you. That's why I've got something special for you, and it's worth 25,000 each. For what? Maybe for sitting in a room. Here's the key. Dress is on the tab. What's this all about? Silly question. West 14. They never stop giving us money. Hello? Made yourself comfortable? Well, it's not exactly the Dorchester. All right, now listen. You're the backup. I'm relying on you. The backup for what? Look outside. See if the Milvans been here. What is it? A lot of names and addresses. My God, it's a death list. You two were to cover anyone who missed. How many? Fourteen. Patterson, I want every available man brief. Get me copies of this fast. It's too many for you to handle. Call in MI6. No, CI5 handles it. I'm going to call Dawson. Take him out. You're making a mistake, Cowley. Red for times and dates, blue for personal contact, 
Green for... Green is for letters and phone calls. Oh, yes. Yes, I've forgotten. You were right to keep it internal. Can CI5 cope? I hope so. One move, you lose the back of your head. Don't even think about it. Three seven. I've got him. Number four is safe. You wouldn't want to be shot from this angle, would you? Could alter your whole outlook on life. Get out. Four five, Wilson safe. Right. Wilson, number eight. That leaves just one. Three inches. Four. Yeah. See, we both got passengers. Yeah. Look after mine, will you? I'm checking the house. Yeah, right. Mr. Mitchell in, please. I'm afraid he's down at his boat. Who was that? Uh, Fuller's Yard. Thank you very much. Don't go away. For a Mr. Mitchell. You found him. Mr. H. R. Mitchell? That's right. I've uh I've got something for you. Blame yourself. All the others are safe. Oh, who else should I blame? Something's beginning to emerge. But it's a negative. Go on. Fifteen men and three women, all working at some time for intelligence. But there were record and cipher clerks. Low-level couriers, typists, small fry. So why did someone want them dead? because of something they possessed. Information? It has to be. But that's the negative. They never had access to top secrets. They seem to know nothing of importance. Individually, they know nothing of significance, but... Suppose each holds the tiny piece of a jigsaw. Collectively, they can complete a picture. A picture of the man who wanted them dead. Well, where are they now? Oh, we've got them under protection. They're safe. I think we should call them in here and talk to them. You're wasting your time, you know. Be a fool to come back here. Crazy. Mind you, he wasn't the brightest thing on two legs, was it? No, I thought he was sweet. Hey. All the sweeties. He's just arrived. Oh, he's right. He's an idiot.
end of the line, fat man. I've got a match here. The whole place is soaked in petrol. So are you. You strike that, you'll fry. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you. Uh, would you ask Mr. Flynn to come in, please? Oh, yes, certainly. How many more? Two after Flynn. You worked with Flynn, didn't you? For a few months. I think you'll find him forthright. Miss Walsh, it's been a long time. Twelve years. This is George Carley, head of CI5. Carley, how do you do? Sit down, Flynn. Tell me, have you any idea why someone would want to kill you? I might have. For eight years, I worked in the box at Orley. The decoding center? Yes. I was senior British cipher clerk. Attached to the army? Correct. But I was still officially MI5. What exactly were your duties? Well, we handled top secret dispatches, documents, orders for NATO. Stuff was being flown in all the time. Go on. One day, a batch of coded letters went missing. Important? Very. The balloon went up. They got them back. Yes, the Russian courier was caught trying to get to the east. I remember the panic. The point is, with the security set up at Orly, it had to be an inside job. And someone near the top. Who's in charge? It was an army major. He's come a long way since those days. He's your boss now, Mr. Carley, the minister. Would you give us a few minutes, Flynn? Be glad to. I told you he was forthright. How much is there in what he says? It's basically true. There was an inquiry, of course. The minister was clear. And? The file remains open. Who set it up, Ferris? Saying nothing. Wait. Who supplied the money? No idea. Where are you taking me? I said, where are you taking me? Don't worry, it's soundproof. What do you mean, soundproof? He meant no one will hear your screams. You don't bluff me. I won't talk. Heard you the first time, that's why you're here. Let's get on with it. Sir. What's he doing? Filling a bath. Or at least half filling. We don't want to make a mess. Oh, yeah, four, five. Send Sparks down with his box of tricks, will you, please? Thank you. What are you going to do? Give you a bit of a shock. Might jolt your memory. I don't know anything. Well, that's enough water. Don't try anything stupid. We'll hear every word. What did you ask for this meeting? I want to get out of the country. Aye, aye, aye. You were paid enough. Let's take him. I need a passport. Uh, papers. Why should I give you papers? I could be useful. I could work for you in another country. You are a fool. No, you're the fool. 
You really think I would walk into a trap? He's in the black saloon. Stop him. Do you know him? Yes, I know him. His name's Kovac, KGB. You sold it? Yes. When I heard about Kovac, it was relatively easy. The KGB would only assign one of its top majors to something important. To protect one of their own? Yes, a traitor, a double agent, unsuspected, secure. Except for something in his past. Something those 18 people just might have pieced together. A small risk. The KGB don't take risks. So they arranged to have them all eliminated. Give me the name. Names. There are two of them. The first is Cowley. George. A puzzle board is part fact, part logic, and part intuition. I rejected the first name. Your intuition? My logic. The other name? Dawson Nigel. Former pimply youth, lately Russian spy. You sure? I'm certain. But I haven't a shred of evidence. You'll have to get the proof yourself. And that won't be easy. It would be a lot easier if Kovac was alive. But then, of course, Dawson doesn't know he's dead. You're a remarkable woman, Liz. I was. Once. Hello, Dawson. Carly. What are you doing here? Oh, keeping you informed. A joint project, remember? I thought all that business was over. We caught a Russian. KGB. Did you? What's his name? Kovac. Why are you keeping him? Interrogation center. He told you anything interesting yet? Oh, not yet. But we'll crack him. He'll tell us everything he knows. Well, let me know what happens. Oh, by the way, my man Williams seems to be missing. Send him back sometime, will you? Well? Office, home, office, club, home, 24-hour tale, nothing. The idea was to scare him into running. It's not working. Maybe he knows Kovac is dead. What about Williams? We can't hold him forever. Where is he? Interrogation center. We're going down there. Bring the tapes from the motel. Why should I give you papers? Stop there. Cut, give you papers. <laughs> Why should I? That's fine. Quit work with Cowley, then you're free to go. useful to you. You can work in another country. Thanks for nothing. You're a fool. No, you're the fool, Kovac. Give us a name. Sounds like he's busy with Give the Russian. Name. Why should I? Because you'll tell us in the end. What is it, Doyle? Williamson. Do you really think I would walk into a trap? You'll tell us in the end. Well, does he want to see me or not? Ah, Williams. I just wanted to apologize for any inconvenience we might have caused you. Right. Are you quite sure it was the Russian, this, uh... Kovacs, sir. And Cowley was interrogating? Just talk. 
He'll be handed over to the experts. They'll crack him. I'm quite sure you're right. Good. Thank you, Williams. Thanks, sir. There he goes. heading. Looks like he's heading for the river. Don't lose it. A puncture. I thought I'd release it this afternoon. A sad loss. A valued servant. The man was a spy. A Russian agent. No need to wash one's dirty linen in public, Cowley. Oh, give the press what you like. What concerns me is how many more Dawsons are there? <laughs> 